The Survivor Series hype train has pulled into its final station and it reads on the platform. Top 5 moments, Smackdown, 14th of November 2002. It reads, I'm 7 foot tall, 500 pounds, I am an angry giant. It's deja vu, right? It's like the train keeps pulling at the station, but we're seeing the same station. We're seeing Ben Angle, we're seeing Brock and Big Show, we're seeing Noble Kidman, we're seeing Al, Don and Tory. It's all the same old shit. The same train routes. It's so long, it just can't get at the fucking station. Same routes, same destinations, same absolute shit. And I think I'd rather get hit by a train than actually watch another Big Show promo, but that's enough about that, trains. And, that, and that's not me you know what, an A train to appear. Because that guy sucks. Honestly, if you think of Big Show, right? He wins this belt, loses it at the angle, goes in like a three month feud with A train, Big Show, and Nathan Jones. What were they thinking on SmackDown? I need to know. A train. Fucking A train? No, explain that. A train. Albert train. That's what it stands for. <laughs> what? Delete. Uh, delete. Brock does not arrive via train, he arrives via. Pick up truck. Moment number five. Brock's in the building. Yeah, he's in the building. Ray's cutting an interview about Eddie. Who cares though? Because Brock appears and Ray doesn't even care about Eddie. Ray drops the mic and just goes, Hey Brock, how you doing this? And Brock's like, oh, I'm doing good, Ray, but fuck off. <laughs> I don't yeah, I don't understand this. Like, why is Ray acting as if him and Brock are best friends? He acted like it was Edge. <laughs> coming it. Like, they're tag team champs. But they're not tag team champs. I mean, the last time these two interacted on Smackdown was I believe Brock and Tajiri against Edge and Ray. Now that may have been about a month ago but it wasn't like it was on good terms but all of a sudden Ray wants to care. We can't but he faced him fucking last week you mongoloid. Oh he did didn't he? Fuck what you want. That makes it even worse then. Who am I dealing with here? Well, does that not make it worse? I, of course that's what I'm saying aye it does make it worse. <laughs> does it make any fucking sense? Because, because Brock Lesnar's now facing Big Show who's heel it's almost like Brock Lesnar automatically now has to be face, so therefore Rey Mysterio has to be nice to him. It's like, what the fuck? Wrestling logic makes no fucking Wrestling sense. Wrestling logic, yeah. Anyway, let's talk about moment number four. Yes, this goes to real life logic. The daughter of the old man doesn't want her daddy giving all the money to the new woman, and that new woman's Don Marie, and Al Wilson's like, Tori, you can come to the wedding. She's like, no, there's nothing more foolish than an old fool. An old fool. You may have been, Don Marie might be my new angel, but you were my first. Sounds a little bit fucking... Pido, yeah, I'll, incest, I'll, I don't know, what are you I'll, doing? I'll, I mean, well, the fact is we a woman that's like a quarter of his age, it's a bit weird, but... You know what, right? In all seriousness, Al should be able to do what he wants here. Tori shouldn't be green. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a grown man. Don Marie's like fucking 30. Consent and adults. End of the day, right? Your WWE contract pays well, Tori. I'll put you on this off. Let him do what he fucking wants. I'd be willing to bet that Tory's making more money a year than Alice. That's yeah, exactly. So no, you're. How about you pay for the wedding? Exactly. Tory, so, maybe that should be the case. Pay for his retirement, but he's still working. A wee nine to five as a Wilson. Well, Wilson, now Wilson doesn't get as much money for Tory for taking his clothes off. That is for sure. Well, wrinkly L. <laughs> L's toy bar. And that's a matter of fact. Anyway, speaking of matter of facts, number three. John Cena and Matt Hardy, two guys that uh, have had an attitude change lately in WWE. One guy, though, seems to be going somewhere. The other guy seems to be going nowhere. But here, yeah, hindsight's a wonderful thing. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. It pretty much happened that way, but only the complete fucking opposite. <laughs> the guy that looked like he was going somewhere went absolutely nowhere. They could And the guy that looked like he was going nowhere went straight to the top. It's so mad, it's like, though. They could have given Cena the attitude gimmick and how would it have went? Uh -huh. Cena-tude? C Nation. Fucking back to uh, OVW, I think. Back to OVW. But this match was alright. They beat Tajiri and Rikishi, and I think Rikishi's done at this point. I, uh, it's mad that Rikishi went for wrestling Austin and main event scenes to, to being a fucking throwaway guy, a jobber on SmackDown. Yeah, I've always liked Rikishi, but he is just mid card. I'm sorry. Like, when you get refilled as, like, running down Austin and put him at the game for, like, nine months, you're automatically going to be elevated up the card. I don't care who it is. Yeah, but... Al soon, Wilson could have fucking done it and he'd be main event in matches. But as soon as we found out who Rikishi had done it for, he just kind of faded into the I background. Done it, I done it for the walk. Anyway, I done it for that big nose bastard. The game. Uh, the game. Right, anyway, let's talk about... Time the, to play moment number two. Seen this a shitload of times. You talk about stopping at the same uh, train stop. This is... I mean, this is getting unbearable now. Angle versus 
Benoit. Benoit, uh, right. I'm, I don't really care about the match. I more care about what actually happened after the match. I think the promo as well with Angle before the match was fun. Fun? It was fun. I was so entertained. He was talking about, you guys are out here to scout me. So yeah, Angle caught in a promo, saves this moment, and I think them all brawling at the end was alright, but I've seen it far. And too. the hug. Yeah, the hug, yeah, the hug made it, but come on. I'm seeing too much of this. The SmackDown 6 need to go their different ways after Survivor Series. If I could take a note for Cena's uh, book, I've seen enough. I have seen enough, honestly. See Nation. No, but it's not like we've it's not like Angle and Benoit have just like started feuding non-stop over the past three months. Literally since Angle came into the company, I feel like all he's done is wrestle Benoit. Since yeah, since if the first third of 2000, these two have been on and off. If we're talking just pay-per-view and TV matches, I would have to assume that Angle's had the most matches with Benoit and Benoit's had the most matches with Angle. Easily. I definitely say they're each other's most common See, including house opponent. shows, these two have probably faced each other like over a hundred times. Well, I'm not going to complain about house shows because we don't fucking see no, them. But let's just, I would say these two have easily faced each other over a hundred times. They, maybe they don't, they don't wrestle each other on a house show. Maybe they don't. Look, so the house show's getting new for fucking for, for the sanity of them. I, I hope they don't. I hope they're not. But uh, you know what? It, it was not right. All the guys batting each other. All the moves. Do, 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 do. Leaves their number one spot. Speaking of getting barred, Brock Lesnar battles the big show. He calls him out, and then he hits him with a cherry. Slings him into the uh, the steel steps. He busts him open, and Brock here showing that maybe he can beat the big show. Maybe he can. Chair shots, arm slice, forehead slice. Brock absolutely burying Big Show, and it's almost weird, like, you've built up Big Show the past couple of weeks just for Brock to annihilate him inside two minutes, and then, I, I, this feels just weird to me, I, I've never rated it, I always wondered how it pieced together with Big Show being a jobber and all of a sudden getting a title match, but for me, it couldn't lay a glove, I mean, why couldn't they have just booked the Taker Brock feud like this? Like, two big fucking behemoths going at each other rather than introducing some woman. Tracy! No, you get me? I could, ah, I honestly I, shit, I honestly think adding Tracy to, to a big show Brock feud would have done more... Aye. ...than no. this. Because Taker is an American badass. He doesn't... It's unrealistic. At least with big show, he's like... He's normal. <laughs> I mean, Taker was supposed to be like a dead man ten years ago. The Undertaker. Not this shit, but yeah. Big Show left bloodied, and uh, that is the end of the road till Survivor Series. We'll be back very soon with another review, one of my favourite pay reviews of all time. Always, 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 I just can't live without you. But yeah. There's a TNA in between then now. There is, um, but yeah, stay tuned guys, lots more videos coming to the channel. We will catch you in the next one. Can Brock Lesnar stay unbeaten and retain his championship? Or will we have a new 7 foot tall, 500 pounds, big angry giant champion when we next review Smackdown? Tune in to find out and we'll catch you down the road. Till next time, peace.